So these credit cards are pretty outrageous. They go, you know, anywhere from like 13 to, you know, upwards of like 20 plus percent. And I know there are some accounts where it's like, yeah, I get 0% off or 12 months or 24 months. People will tell you, yeah, you know, I use the credit cards, but I pay them off monthly. And then we feel defeated because we feel like, oh, okay, they got 12 months to pay this off with no interest. But you have to understand the likelihood of them paying it off. So if they have a $12,000 credit card at 0% interest for 12 months, how much do you think the payment would be? just to pay it off. It'd be a thousand dollars every single month. How many people do you know have a thousand dollars of extra cash flow right now in this market? Not many, right? Now, if you look at the flip side in terms of the person saying, yeah, I put everything on my credit card and I pay it off every single month. They're usually doing that for one of two reasons. Either number one, they really like the points, the cash back, maybe the flyer miles, but that's very rare. Not many people are traveling right now because the cost of travel and living is really high. A majority of them really do that because they need to offset their income. So in other words, they put everything on a credit card because of the way they get paid. Now that is a red flag because that means that they don't have enough monthly cash flow to actually cover their expenditures. So therefore they put on the credit card and then when they get paid, they then have enough money to pay the credit card. So basically they're living um, usually a month behind as opposed to having the ability to pay it out of their bank. So they're, they're using the credit card, whereas if something were to occur like an emergency or a repair, and they added that to the credit card and they use their monthly income to pay towards that credit card, what is the consumer left with? Well, they're left with more of a balance and they're left with nothing in the bank. This is the reality. This is where we need to understand what we are going up against, right? It's the consumer's mindset. 